On this week's install video, we are working on a 2020 Grand Design Reflection 29 RS. We installed the following on this one, so stay tuned. If you don't already know, we are Mike and Leanna of the Dry Campers and we traveled the country doing solar and lithium upfits to RVs. Other are full-time and part-time RVers who are looking to go more off-grid. We installed 1300 watts of solar coming into a Victron 150 slash 100 MPPT, a 3000 watt multi-plus inverter, BMV 712, two easy starts, and four Battleborn 100 amp batteries totaling 400 amps. Let's get started on this install. So first we uh, went up on the roof and got the solar installed. Um, and then as you know, we have to pull new wiring from the roof down and man, was it a booger. It, it took us, I had her in the basement and me on the roof and then it just we ended up doing the vice versa thing too. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's to the point. Well, the basement and the reflections are only about 20, 20 inches, inches tall. Yeah. yeah, so it's not the drop Z frame, so it's a little bit it's tight. So you're trying to crawl up into that basement is one thing, and I'm smaller than he is, so I don't know how he does it. Uh, but um, you know, crawling up into that basement and getting in there, and then um, I'm literally like pulling the wire, and I'm it's like pulling me up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but so once we got that tackled, then I was able to get inside and start with the tear out before the rebuild. Uh, got all the steps pulled out and um, designed my rebuild structure. Once that was in, got everything uh, cleaned up there. Then I moved over to the plumbing side, cleaned a lot of that up. Uh, because of the way the basement layout behind the wall was, was done, I had to split the battery bank into two. Um, and which forced me to not have enough room to keep the MPPT in the same cupboard area as um, where the MultiPlus was gonna go and all the switches and fuses and stuff like that. So once I got the batteries in place, then I did a little bit of, um, you know, fastening the ducting down, make sure it's not uh, just flopping around. And, you know, that presents a safety issue. So always have to make sure that whenever I put a bank up, battery bank up in there that, uh, the ducting is secured. Once I got all the system in, now I have to rebuild the wall. So on this design, we went with a larger plexiglass opening, but um, it didn't hinge, did it? Mm -mm. No, it didn't hinge, and it was just screwed into place. Um, but there were uh, the switches and things like that were on the outside accessible uh, to operate the system. Well, and um, didn't you have like the multi plus cover off and then they were like, oh, Alex cool or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. I was just, I, I had put the, because I had some exposed wiring. So overnight one night I had left the cover off and just put the plexiglass plate on over top of it. And they were like, hey, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> so we ended up leaving it off. So they liked it. So it was also helps all the equipment breathe better too. So I also stuck a plexiglass plate on the wet bay so that they would be able to, to, you know, examine their wet bay area to see if they had any leaks. Sometimes I put the plexiglass on the wall area uh, at the behind the wet bay where all the plumbing is just for um, quick and ease of uh, examining the, you know, if there's any leaks or any problems back behind there. Having said that, some people have questioned us in the past, you know, are you concerned with um, like the water versus the lithium in the same area? Uh, the batteries are actually sealed. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't mount them underwater or anything like that, <laughs> but you know, in a class A, most of the times the batteries are not in a completely concealed environment. So the batteries would be able to withstand something like that. Um, water spray, stuff like that, but not being submerged. So the clients had contacted us. Um, they actually found us on a Facebook forum um, and they slid right into that schedule as we had, we've only had one cancellation and they were able to get in that slot. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so we so enjoyed meeting Paul and Delise and they are the owners of Bardell Bows and they hand make 
pet grooming bows. They are the cutest bows. And if you can see here in our on our pets, I mean, they're absolutely adorable. Love them. So check them out online. They also have a YouTube channel, so check them out. They're really cute. They're just getting started um, with the solar and they're part, kind of part-timing it. They've been part-timing it for a while and I think eventually would like to go full-time. Um, but they are enjoying their solar, you know, when they do go out. And uh, so check them out at Night Views. They are also on Instagram and she has done an amazing job with the decor. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm so the, envious. <laughs> she's got the touch. Yes, it's beautiful. They also have photographers on site and they have actually given us a little photo shoot. Yep. So, um, and those girls are We Do Photography, Donna and Amy, and they did a fantastic job. So we thank you ladies too for such great photos because we have not had a photo shoot in quite some time. <laughs> Other than mash the button, run over. Yeah, no, that's not a photo shoot. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you haven't already checked our giveaways post out, um, go back and check that video out. We are doing a 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. We have some pretty cool prizes and all entries need to be in by December 13th, 2020 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to check that out and submit your entry and be sure to hit all those bullet points. Um, we're getting some entries that um, are only doing, you know, a hashtag or <clears throat> like barely the minimum, but we just want to make this fun. So give us a fun story. If you don't, if you don't want solar, give us a fun story, like yes. Christmas story. Like we really want to, you know, we want to make it fun, you guys. So work with us. Thanks again for watching another video. Catch us on the next video. Subscribe and click that dingy bell ring thing. Um, sometimes I do. We are the dry campers, Leanne and Mike.